Jericho and Derby. <laughs> Alright guys, Dave's finally here. Three night, four day backpacking adventure in the Sierra Nevadas. We've got the John Muir Wilderness sign right behind us. We're going to be staying at a few lakes. This is going to be awesome. Come along with us on this adventure. All right guys, eating dinner here at Barney Lake. We're all set up. Had a nice thunderstorm with some rain. That was really awesome. Um, eating a peak fuel meal. And uh, it's pretty good. It's not as good as the mountain house uh, beef stroganoff, but pretty good. I had my favorite miso soup as always. My favorite G7 coffee. And uh, I'm just loving it out here. What a beautiful place to camp. Uh, my first time backpacking the Sierras. Excellent experience so far. So I'm gonna eat this meal and then finish up with some little olives here and then probably call it a night.
day two in the Sierra Nevadas. We're going to be heading up Duck Pass right there in the background and uh, dropping back down, passing by Duck Lake. Going to be a really fun and uh, arduous day here today. It's a little windy right now. The wind's picking up quite a bit. This is awesome. We're sitting here having breakfast. I think the temperature was probably around 45, between 40 and 45, but the wind chills kind of knocked it down a little bit. It feels like we're in the high 30s, drinking some delicious G7 coffee. And then I got some uh, oatmeal coming up here for breakfast. And then we're gonna head out uh, up yonder, up over Duck Pass. Last night was awesome. A little bit of wind, but it was really calm. And then that uh, little rain squat early on was pretty cool, so we'll see how the day turns out. All right, good morning. We're looking at Duck Pass here. We're gonna be going up this bad boy. It's gonna be a rough one. We're already at 10,200, so. Gonna be good. You guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> so it feels safe currently right now, but yeah. Should grab the price of that But if you were using the seven.
the way at the end of Pika Lake. Hiked over here solo. Kind of creepy, but... Insane. We're camped way down over there. And then we've got these, as far as I'm aware, unnamed peaks. These are uh, around 12,500 feet, I believe. And they're absolutely gorgeous. By the looks of it, I was shocked that these are not 14ers. But absolutely gorgeous views here at Pika Lake. Right at 10.5, uh, right here it looks like. There you go. 10.478. Alright guys, having a little cup of G7 coffee here. It, uh, Pika or Pika Lake, however you pronounce it. And uh, just enjoying the scenery up here at uh, 10,500 feet. Beautiful up here, there's clouds in the sky. It goes super dark and then it's all sunny again. You can hear the water kind of hitting the shore. We're only like 50 feet from the water, just sitting above it. Nestled into the trees here. And uh, this place is just phenomenal. I don't even know how to describe it. When we uh, came here this morning, I had goosebumps walking around the the corner when I kind of saw the peak sitting up there and it was just a sight that I've never seen before. It was kind of magical really and now I kind of understand why people come up here and why well, they pull permits you know a year in advance or six months in advance and I now understand why this place is is really something special and uh, I'm enjoying every bit of it. Hope you guys are enjoying the video and uh, there's more to come. And uh, I just want to thank Matt and uh, Steve for having me along on this trip and uh, opening their way with open arms, letting me join in last minute. They're uh, two good dudes. That's right. I'm messing well. I'm going to pull that bag down and just see, dude. Whatever, it's edible. You know, we're sorry, Anthony. It's okay, I have a mountain house tomorrow. All is not lost. Sorry, Anthony. Anthony's going all mountain house from here on out. Mmm. Alright guys, we're out here. We're gonna do some night photography. We've got a beautiful canvas in the background and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll include some of these pictures at the end of the video. The sun is setting on Pika Lake here and it is a absolutely beautiful sight.
Good morning, guys. Good morning to day three. Beautiful view again to look at. Really don't want to leave this place. Uh, we're going onwards and upwards, staying in another lake tonight. And we'll take you along to that. Alright guys, we just hiked out of Pika Lake. Way over there, you can see. And you got Duck Lake in the foreground. We're gonna make our way up, uh, up and over Duck Pass again. And uh, head to our final destination tonight, which you will see later in the video. Thanks for coming along on our Sierra Nevada backpacking trip. This has been another video from Anthony at the Ultralight Backpacker. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure.